So it's been a month and a half since I first got my hands on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra, Samsung's latest and greatest version of their mega-sized tablet. In this video, I want to share with you some of the new experiences I've had with my Tab S9 Ultra from an average day-to-day -day user's perspective after nearly a couple months of use, show you how it stacks up against the smaller Tab S9 Plus and Tab S9, since I think there's more than just a mere size difference going on here that makes this Tab S9 Ultra so exciting to talk about in the first place, and lastly, share some insight on whether or not the Ultra is worthy for you to consider given its ultra high price point. Let's get started. Starting with price. Now, I wasn't simply using a play on words when I said ultra high price point because this mega tab retails for $1,200, which comes in at $200 to $400 more than the Tab S9 Plus and Tab S9 respectively. However, Samsung has some discounts and deals right now on pretty much everything they sell, including these Tab S9s, such as a free storage upgrade to other 512 gigabytes or one terabyte of storage and enhanced trade-in values like $700 for last year's Tab Tab S8 if you're looking for a bump up in size, so be sure to check out the links in the description for Samsung's latest deals here towards the end of 2023. But what is it that makes the Tab S9 Ultra so exciting to begin with? Of course it goes without saying the sheer size is the star of the show here with the Ultra sporting a 14.6 inch screen in addition to all of the enhancements made to the entire Tab S9 series this year such as better battery life, better speakers, official water and dust resistance ratings, and an enhanced S Pen experience which all of these things have already provided real life benefits, which I look forward to sharing throughout this video. But the biggest takeaway for me above all else is that this ultra variant size and form factor is the one I've gotten the most work done with out of the bunch. In addition to being one of the most versatile devices in general, since adding a keyboard attachment puts this into laptop territory with similar sizing to my MacBook Pro and the tablet on its own feels light enough to use and enjoy in hand and gives a great amount of space for writing down all of your notes and ideas or for drawing and sketching. Now, of course, the feel in the hand of the smaller Tab S9 and S9 Plus is superior to the Ultra as these come in sizes that most people are more accustomed to. However, for me, that's where the benefit of these two tablets end as over the past several generations of these high-end Samsung tablets promoting both productivity and play, I could never seem to make the most out of these 11 and 12.9 inch screen sizes when it comes to productivity. And over time, what I found with the Ultra is that it's more than just the inherent benefit of more screen, more productivity going on here as a quick glance at the respective keyboard attachments will show that the 11 inch Tab S9 has a functional but pretty crammed typing experience for longer sessions. And while the 12.9 inch has a more comfortable keyboard for typing, the trackpad doesn't get much larger compared to what the 11 inch offers, which I find to be odd, but the Ultra's keyboard and trackpad feel like you are typing and navigating on a conventional laptop alongside a device Device I found myself reaching for over even the most powerful laptops money can buy since the physical footprint of this Ultra is slimmer and sleeker compared to a laptop and as a result this is my go-to choice not only between the three S series tablets Samsung offers but even devices like my MacBook Pro since typing feels way more comfortable for me on this Tab S9 Ultra and everything you need when traveling takes up less space in my bag and weighs a fair bit less overall as well. Now while these physical attributes and benefits play a major role and what makes this tablet worth considering in the first place, the real life benefits I've found with this Tab S9 Ultra are what make this tablet worthy of the Ultra naming, mainly when it comes to the battery life. The combination of the new battery efficient Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor alongside the 11,200 milliamp hour battery has given me all day battery life in my regular day to day use cases, and lighter use cases have given me even more battery life than really any other mobile device I've used up to this point time. The seven hours of screen on time I can get in my regular use case is an appreciated upgrade over the six hour battery life I would normally get from my Tab S8 Ultra I had used for a year and a half prior to this S9. However, lighter use cases are where this battery truly shines as over the course of a day and a half of mainly watching YouTube videos, streaming some music, and a few hours of writing and referencing notes, I was able to get nearly 11 hours of screen on time, which is nuts to me. For a point of reference within the Tab S9 series, the smallest Tab S9 in a similarly light use case got me around eight hours of screen time. So overall, I think the battery life definitely scales nicely on this larger tablet, despite the much larger display it needs to power. Another real life benefit I already found to be useful is the water resistance now found on this year's S9. On a spec sheet, it might not sound like a game changing 
upgrade, but within my first week of use, I had already found myself working with a lot of water under the kitchen sink, and it was helpful to not only have a large display to help me reference how to try and fix my clogged pipes, but knowing my expensive tablet would withstand any amount of water thrown at it gave me way more peace of mind than what meets the eye through a spec sheet or a YouTube video. And for what it's worth, this water resistance also made its way to the S Pen, but the real life benefits of this now familiar stylus come from its connection to the tablet in the form of not only being able to charge no matter which way you attach it, which why wasn't this a feature all along, but more importantly, the magnets on these Tab S9 S Pens seem to be a lot stronger as I've yet to bump it off in passing when carrying this tablet out and about. And overall, the lightweight yet solid feel, Bluetooth benefits through the button and gestures, and excellent feel when most importantly using it to smoothly write and sketch gives you the great S Pen experience we've come to know and love. The tablet provides what feels like writing on an oversized sheet of paper, and while this may be overkill for basic note taking, overall the added screen space keeps my mind open to writing more down and doing more in general, which has seriously boosted my creativity and productivity in my time of using and experiencing this oversized tablet. Now in my time so far with this Tab S9 Ultra, in addition to the aforementioned S8 Ultra, I found that the use of accessories plays a very important role with getting the most out of this tablet, enough to devote an entire chapter of this video to them, even though this makes what is a pricey tablet even pricier, but for what it's worth, the official keyboard cover, while sure to cause some sticker shock, is something I used every single day on my S8, and the same goes here to this day on the S9. While it's hard to convey through a YouTube video, the typing experience on this keyboard in particular has grown to be one of my favorites when needing to type for longer periods of time, and the backlit keys exclusive to the Ultra keyboard is something I was seeking for years from these Samsung tablets tablets, and overall it makes the price somewhat palatable knowing how genuinely useful it is for productivity in addition to having functionality in some games like Old School RuneScape where I'm able to zoom in and out and navigate in the game through the use of the trackpad, which while this has been possible since my time with the Galaxy Tab S6, the larger trackpad size again gives what feels like a laptop experience regardless if you're gaming, using tablet mode, or using Samsung DeX, which I haven't even gotten into this video, but I think it goes without saying that this is the best device hands down for making the most out of Samsung's desktop experience with the added screen space. However, the conventional tablet mode works just as effectively for me personally. But at the very least, I highly recommend getting at least one case with some sort of back cover with a kickstand since this hefty tablet gets used more times than not on a tabletop or sitting in my lap. And Spigen, who's the sponsor of this video, also has some really well-designed case options like their Thin Fit Pro and Rugged Armor Pro that have better protection and some additional features even the Samsung cases don't offer. Both of these cases offer protection for the sides and corners of your Tab S9 Ultra, which can't be said for any of the official Samsung cases, and the Thin Fit Pro offers a versatile kickstand, a protective and easy to access S Pen slot, and the bottom of the case has a detachable portion if you want to connect and use any of the aforementioned Samsung attachments, such as the keyboard cover or note paper and privacy covers, and a convenient pull tab can be used to either keep things closed closed up or kept in place when in use. The Rugged Armor Pro has some additional protection on the corners and offers a more familiar tri-fold front flap, giving you two stand options and auto sleep and wake. And Spigen also offers a screen protector, which is effortless to install with the included frame to align things perfectly. And the S Pen feels excellent on it when writing and drawing. So I'll have links to these in the description. You can find all of them on Amazon. And again, a huge thanks to Spigen for sponsoring this video. Now, as you just saw in the previous segment, Samsung also also has some attachments that can be mixed and matched alongside various cases that really enhance your experience depending on your needs with accessories like the note paper cover for giving a paper-like feel when writing or drawing on your tab, which plays right into this tablet feeling like an oversized sheet of paper, like I mentioned earlier, in addition to a privacy screen, which can completely black out your display when viewing it from its sides to provide a little peace of mind when out and about with your massive tab. If you want to learn more about these case and accessory options, I'll have my Tab S9 Ultra case video linked in the upper corner, and maybe I'll even make an accessories video if anyone cares to see all the various peripherals I enjoy to use the most with my Tab S9 Ultra, like tiny chargers that provide the maximum 45 watt charging speeds, which it takes 30 minutes to top back up to 50%, one hour to reach 80% or so, and an additional 40 minutes to get back to a full charge using the proper charger. Essentially anything and everything else that hasn't been mentioned in this video has remained unchanged from the previous S8 Ultra, both good and bad, such as this tablet being the best I've ever used for multitasking purposes.
services with the extra screen real estate and very smooth and intuitive software for running and switching between three to four applications at once. The rear cameras are serviceable as they get the job done for capturing things around the house, although my puppy gets a bit scared when seeing such a big tablet in front of her face. And the front facing camera is excellent for video calls with the dual lens setup packing a great wide angle lens, making this perfect for propping up wherever you are and quickly jumping on a conference call. The haptic feedback on this tablet definitely has some room for improvement. as they don't feel nearly as good as what's found on my Fold 5, for example. So as always with any product, there's certainly some room for improvement here given this tablet's ultra naming. But overall, nearly two months into things so far and wrapping up this quick follow-up review video of the Tab S9 Ultra, I'm really enjoying this tablet, not only for all the aforementioned reasons, but also because nearly two years into using a tablet of this size, while it certainly has its trade-offs, like sometimes being a bit too large for more basic use cases, it has really changed the way I view tablets as far as how much you can truly accomplish on a tablet of this size, which is still relatively unique in terms of what's available on the market currently. And if you're looking for something to get some extra work done, simply need a lot of screen space to fill all of your ideas and notes into with a battery to last you as long as you need it to, in addition to arguably being the best device for media consumption and playing games, then honestly look no further than the Tab S9 Ultra right here. It's not for everyone because of the larger screen size and more so the high entry price, but for me personally, the Tab S9 Ultra is the tablet I'm going to continue reaching for for the foreseeable future, mainly thanks to the better battery life and water resistance, but I'll be curious to hear your thoughts on the Tab S9 Ultra down in the comments below. I'll have the other videos I recommended watching for more insights and details linked here if you're interested, and please consider subscribing to the Shane Simons YouTube channel for more videos just like the one you watched, and thank you so much for watching. Take care.